appreciate you for your time and the coming on oh, yeah, the show. Sure. Right. Um, um, what do you, what do you, what do you, how did you come up with the record, Go Baby? What was that inspired by? Shit, man, you know, after it, it, it was, a, I had a crazy night, you know what I mean? And I was never the type of nigga that like head like that, like, you know what I'm saying? I liked it the more so please the woman. So when I came up with a song and, and it was something that pleased me, like, shit, I had to make a song about that shit. I made a song with it, like, with it, like, the next day. Mm, so you wasn't really a fan until you had the ultimate experience. Right. So, so the girl, so the girls that's on the beginning, they got something to do with that. The nah, 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 nah. That's um, that's, like that's the girl on the beginning of the song. That's one of my uh best friends. She had passed away. Wow. Yeah. So I got her right here on my chain right here. What's her name? Wow, beautiful. Darren. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Wow. So she was in the studio. She was in the studio with you when you recorded that. Yeah, I had I had called up there her her friend. She was um they was out for one of her friends' birthday, but they couldn't find nowhere to go. So I was like, shit, pull up on me at the studio. And they pulled up, they were drunk, you know what I mean, and just talking. The studio ain't had no booth. And that's how like the whole front part of the song came about. Wow. Wow. Yep. Oh, wow, wow. What what um was you ever on the fence, right? With everybody being so sensitive nowadays, with with music and this, and the, you know, and this in the time that we in, um, in the world, was you ever on the fence about putting this record out? Yeah, like I really, I really didn't want to put the record out. I was really hesitant because I grew up in a household full of women, with my mom and my sisters. So I didn't want women to feel like I was disrespecting them or I was degrading them in any type of way. So I was really hesitant about putting the song out at first. But then I just really just had to accept the fact that it was a banger. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, 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 now. Before you say you grew up in the house with your mom and your sisters, right? Did right. did did? Any, I'm pretty sure they've heard the record now. But at that time, before you put the record out, did you let any of your, of your siblings or your mom hear that? No, nah, not before I put it out. They didn't hear it until it came out. Wow. Okay. Yeah, they ain't hear it until it came out. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so the clean version—that's the version that they heard, or, or they heard the, or they heard the raw version when you. Nah, they uh, they they got down. They heard the uh, the dirty version first, but I made the clean version for them. Mhm. Mm mm -hmm. So when my mama heard it, that's when I that's when I decided to make the clean version. Got you, got you. Mom Dukes, I'm pretty sure she probably playing it for her home girls and all of that. You had to like. Oh yeah, for sure, <laughs> for sure. I listen to my baby's song. They like your baby over there talking nasty. Uh huh. <laughs> so the so the remix, my brother, the remix just went platinum. Um, what? congratulations, congratulations on that. How I does it that. How does it feel to be at this point in your career, man? Um, I, I always say it's it's a, it's definitely a blessing. You know what I'm saying? It's a dream come true. It's something that you know I, I always dreamed about, and you know, right now I'm 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 going. I'm going strong. Like I'm working right now. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm you got a you got a, you got another record um on the project that's taking off right now. Um, Cash App. Yeah, Cash App. Um, Mulatto. Mulatto. How how that record came about? Man, was it was it, was it just that record so long or? ago? I recorded that record too long ago. Uh, my producer Zach on the track and Baby Breezy, they end up naming the um the beat Cash Up. So I just went off for it and boom, did the song. Once I did it, I recorded. It. I sent it straight to Lotto. She got there and sent it back within like two days. Cause everybody already was like, "Oh, y'all need a song. Y'all need a song." So I'm like, "Shit, okay, cool." But they ain't even know that we had already had that song recorded. This shit was just sitting for a long ass time. Wow. Wow. So, something I was trying to do my research on, right, and I couldn't kind right. of put it together. Was you, did you get signed to Interscope before you had Throat Baby, before you had these records, or was it after the success of Throat Nah, it was, it was after. It was after. The, it so was you, after. Was putting that, you was putting that work in, so Throat Baby was already moving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. We did. We, we put that, that, that groundwork, footwork in. Folks think this shit went crazy off of TikTok. It ain't started going crazy off of TikTok. It was already in the streets before before TikTok. And you know, the time that you put this record out, what, last summer, right? 
Yeah. He was he was working a record in the middle of a pandemic. Which is oh, yeah. so. you know what I mean? Which is like crazy because everything was limited, especially back like June, July, everything was limited as far as being able to go to the clubs and really, you know what I mean, go to the radio stations and you right. know what it takes to work a record. How was you able to maneuver through that and still have your joint take off? Man, we basically were working like the underground railroad. Folks were still throwing, <laughs> folks were still throwing parties in clubs. Like I, I was just in them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Man, um, Atlanta right now is on fire. You know, I'm from New York originally, and you know how we are, man, um, about music. But Atlanta, y'all been holding it down, man. How how do you feel about the current state of hip hop and where it's going? Oh man, I, I feel like you know what I'm saying. We we do our thing. We we bring that sauce. We bring that sauce to the game. You know what I'm saying. Atlanta is like a culture. You feel me? Like the shit that we bring to the game is it, it, different. You know what I mean? Like you could tell somebody from Atlanta versus some somewhere else. You feel what I'm saying? Just like you could tell a New York rapper, you could tell that he from there. You feel me? That's just like it. we just we set them trends. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm who who? Growing up in Atlanta, right? Who who influenced you musically? Oh man, I, I started out listening to Bow Wow. Like Bow Wow made me really want to start rapping. You feel me? Then from Bow Wow, I listened to Nelly. You know what I'm saying? Country Grammar, The Hot Boys, No Limit, all that. You know, you know what's crazy? I think I think I, I don't really hear people give Bow Wow his credit, and he he he's he's inspired you know a whole generation. You know what I mean? He was one of the youngest doing it at the time of us coming up. So that's that's a good that's a good that's a good name to man to, to be inspired by. Um who 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 else from Atlanta you wanna collaborate with? You know definitely got gotta get one get get one in with that boy Future. That's great. Mm. I definitely gotta do that. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Let me get to I ain't gonna lie to you, but I gotta get I gotta get back in the uh in the room. They looking for my Say no more, King. Listen, I appreciate your time. Before I let you go, I want to shout out this show that we got coming up. That's going right. to be crazy. May 1st with you and, and BRS Cash and Vito. Yep, Dallas, Vito. Achilles. Dallas, Texas. You know it's going up, man. Everybody get your tickets. If you in Dallas, fuck with us. We going up. You know what I mean? Hey, we get lit. I appreciate you for your time, man. I definitely, I see you May 1st. Thank you, my brother, for joining me, man. All right, bro. I appreciate you for having me on here. All right, blessings, man. Peace. All right, now. All right, let's get it.